All right, here we are. We're back with the uh, GPX, the Pitster Pro ADV 190R. It's uh, finally together. Um, I have the headlight on. I have the front fender on. Um, the front wheel on. The back shock is is tightened right here. Um, the only thing I didn't use was the rear fender, which I don't really care for. Um, Everything else is good to go. Everything's plugged in. If my cameraman can get under here, there's a little bracket right here that we forgot to mention on a previous video. It's kind of a, a little bent L type looking bracket. You'll see it in your package. That goes here, the headlight adjuster connects to here, and it goes down and then you screw it in. It has a nut that's welded to the back of it. So that goes there. I haven't fully gotten all the hoses clamped up and how they should be but for now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the first start um, this is the way it sits it's a little dusty it's a little windy out here in Vegas so with all that being said um, so far looks like it's gonna be awesome um, definitely has taller suspension than a Grom or a Hellcat um, these are uh, like a darker darker bronzy color instead of the gold um, it does come with the guard on the oil cooler. It does come with the skid plate on the bottom. And it does come with the heat shield on the, the exhaust. It also comes with a kicker uh, right here. The kick starts right here. Uh, another feature right here, if my cameraman would come over, you have metal. These are steel foot pegs with just a cover that makes it look like a Grom foot peg, but it's not. This is just a cover. So what it does is, it comes through here, it mounts to your, your uh, frame here, then also has another part that goes all the way across that mounts to the motor, the four bolts mount to the motor, along with the skid plate. So you have two areas where this uh, foot peg is, is uh, mounted, so you, not like a Grom or, or, or a Hellcat or a Vader, where it's a cast aluminum piece and you hit a jump and they snap right off. These are steel and they're mounted under here too. So these should be a lot stronger, a lot better setup um, than, than per se the other the other bikes. Um, I'm running it without the quiet core baffle, those smaller baffle that it comes with. These bikes do come with an air box, um, not open filter. So they're a little bit more all weather friendly if you wanted to take it mud bogging or something like that. You don't have to worry about the the, uh, or in the rain or whatever. You don't have to worry about the uh, the rain and the elements getting to your air filter and making your bike run not so great. Uh, this has an air box, which is a nice feature for sure. So let me go ahead and start this baby up. I'm gonna turn it on. I'm gonna pull the choke a little bit and we're gonna see what it does. channel. It's Mr. Mike Mount on YouTube and 